good morning my dear today i am going to discuss what are components that are available inside the computer just you can see my dear it is showing the internal part of your cpu and this cpu consists many components like your motherboard your hard disk cd drive smps ram processor many many components you will see inside the cpu so first of all i am going to highlight on cpu actually many of the students they will be confused if i say cpu they will think that sir is talking about the cabinet the cabinet no actually that is not the cpu if i am talking about the cpu it means i am talking about the processor processor is called as cpu so please change your thinking my dear don't think that cpu will be the cabinet no cpu here is the processor now hard disk you can see the hard disk present inside the cpu this is called the internal hard disk when i will categorize the hard disk then hard disk will be of two type one will be the internal hard disk and other one will be the external hard disk now you have to know why we go for the external hard disk suppose i am doing the work on videos that is mixing the audio video and i have to carry this video from one pc to another pc which is not very very close for that anyhow i have to cover 1 km so in that case if i have to carry my video i will be not going for the pen drive because already i said you in the earlier class pen drive is not the safest drive if you want to go for your safest drive then you must prefer the external hard disk you can store your data in external hard disk and you can carry and there you can transfer your data to the other now the first part that i am going to discuss that is the motherboard you all are aware of motherboard because all your yes components like your processor ram your other slots that are fixed on the motherboard this is the main circuit board which holds together various components already it is discussed over here that is the cpu memory if i am talking about the cpu that is your processor if i am talking about the memory then two two parts will be there of memory first one will be the ram and other one rom rom is fixed you cannot remove it but ram you can remove it even you can update your ram if suppose you are having 2 gb ram you can update your ram by fixing 2 gb one more ram to the another slot so that it will be 4 gb or you can remove the 2 gb instead of that you can fix 4 gb also it depends on you how you want to upgrade your memory now connectors for the hard drive you know whenever you are having your internal hard disk inside the cabinet you will see the two lines two cables one is the power cable and other one is the data cable one which will help the hard disk to function function and other cable which will help to transfer the data where your data has to be transferred yes whether to the ram to the processor 
an optical drive when i'm talking about the optical drive it may be your cd it may be your dvd or it may be your yes blu ray disc now expansion cards you are having the slots yes there you can fix the cards my dear like video if you are having the video mixing work then if another slot you can use for your graphics work now and the connections in form of various ports you know at the back side of your cabinet you will see different ports like dvi port vga port mouse port keyboard port serial port parallel ports many ports are there and it all the ports have different work so you have to not go in details now next part that is input output i hope you all are knowing if i am talking about the input device it means what it just takes input from whom from us from the user so whenever you have to give the data to the computer then you must go for the input devices so there are lot of input devices like your keyboard mouse joystick scanner so many devices are there so but the best two devices that we use or the general public general users uses that is the mouse and the keyboard now next part that is wave cam you know what is a wave cam this is called the wave camera actually wave cam is already in built in your laptop but if you want to have any video work like you want to record suppose any play is going on and you want to record directly yes using the camera then in desktop you must have to install the driver at first and then add the yes a wave camera to the ports so that it will function my dear so you please keep it in mind there is no other yes parts that is available yes in your desktop for capturing your face capturing any act so you have to buy your wave camera from the market and then you can connect it please keep it in mind i'm not talking about the laptop next one is a scanner why we use scanner just you think about the photocopier machine just the same role you have of scanner also if any text if any images that are going to be scanned or that will be going to be converted into digital format then you must have to go for scanner even your photo that is to be converted in digital form you must go for your scanner now the next part that is microphone what is the use of microphone actually whenever you are going to speak and you want that my voice should be recorded in my pc then you must use the microphone here i am talking about the microphone as well as a speaker if you output you want that means if my voice which is recorded and that voice i want to listen it then you can go for a speaker but if you want to record your voice to your pc then you must go for your hardware device and that device name is a microphone now the next part that i am going to discuss that is related to output device so first of all you have to know why we use the output devices so actually we use the output devices to get the result now if i talk about the output device then there will be the two copies 
one will be the soft copy if i am talking about the output device then there will be the two part if i am talking about the output one will be hard copy and another one will be the soft copy so what is the difference between hard copy and soft copy you see if anything that is going to be printed using the printer then that material that you will get it on the page the content that you will get it on the page that you can share with your friends yes manually that will be done using your hard copy the best example is the printer but when i am talking the soft copy that means your output is only going to be displayed on the monitor you cannot share it if anyone wants to see this data he or she must have the pc otherwise he or she cannot see yes the contents but if he or she is not having the yes uh, pc the devices the gadgets then you can share these all contents via hard copy so you must have to think about the hard copy and soft copy in which case you are going to utilize your hard copy as well as your soft copy now here you see output may be in the form of visuals if i am saying visuals that means what your movie if i am saying text that is your contents that you write in ms word or in any other apps audio when you are going to listen the song and print out that is your hard copy that you want to get it via printer so it is the different types of output devices are there to supports various types of output now one by one i am going to discuss about the output devices first one that you can see on the screen is monitor you know monitor just act as a soft copy but it is also an output device because your result get displayed on the screen next is speaker a speaker already i talked printer already i talked now plotter what is the plotter actually plotters is are used yes to take print of what your yes uh, you can say maps you can say the designing of flats designing of malls so next part that is the cpu this is the main component my dear actually when you purchase your laptop or your desktop whose cost is more cpu 2.4 gigahertz processor you are having 3.4 gigahertz processor actually the processor cost is near about 6 or 7000 but it works is very very important yes yeah, so for the processing work of your videos of your audios of your text whatever work you want to do it that all work that will be performed only via the processor now you can see the definition the motherboard houses the main processor or the cpu cpu execute executes the user's instructions and coordinates amongst all other units of the computer via it can be the cache memory or your hard disk thus it is the primary responsible for the performance of the machine processor must be classified on the basis of their speed you can see dual core you must have heard quad core 
octa code many many yes technology you have seen in the market these all technologies can varies your performance of your pc if you have high configuration processor high ram then your processing speed of your system will be very very fast now you might have heard about the two processors company one is the amd and other one is intel one understood so i hope i have whatever the topics that i explained to you